welcome to our online chemistry class let us study the next part that is nomenclature of halogen derivative so can you recall in iupac system of nomenclature does the functional group halogen appears as a suffix or prefix so any idea what you say So it is your answer is prefix. That is correct. This is your correct word. I always prefer halogen as a prefix means first word hello for writing the IPC system. Okay, now next question what are the trivial names? of laboratory solvent CH3 and CCL4 so trivial names means common name CH3 contain one carbon so the common name is carbon Sorry, common name is chloroform. And by writing the trivial name of this compound again of CCL4, it is carbon. This is your answer. Now we can write the IUPAC names of these compounds. There are three chlorine and one carbon. One carbon parent compound is methane. So the IUPAC name of this compound chloroform is trichloromethane and that of CCL4 one carbon four chlorine one carbon parent alkene is again methane and four carbon uh, four chlorine therefore tetrachloromethane is the IUPAC name. So, these are all the your answers. Now, common names of alkyl halides are derived by naming the alkyl groups followed by the name of halogen as a halide. So, for example, methyl iodide means methyl group is CH3, iodide means iodine, so compound is CH3I. Then, tertiary butyl chloride CH3 thrice. C, this group is tertiary butyl and Cl means chloride. So, CH3 thrice C, Cl. So, this is about all these things are given in your standard 11 chemistry textbook, chapter number 14, section number 14.4.7. You can refer that alkyl halides are named as haloalkenes for writing their IPC name and aryl halides are named as haloarenes relating their IPS names. For dihalogen derivatives of arenes means aromatic compounds, the prefix words O for ortho, M for meta, P for para are used in their common names. But while writing their IPS names, their positions are mentioned. So 1, 2 is given for ortho, 1, 3 means meta, 1, 4 means para. Now let us see some examples. Use your brain power by writing their IPC names of the following compound. So it is a 3 carbon compound, and we will start the numbering from that end, which is nearer to functional group. So this is the first carbon, then this is second carbon.
and this one is third carbon. So, by writing the name of this compound, there are three carbon separate alkenes. Propane and bromine is present on second carbon. So, we can write the IUPAC name as 2 dash bromopropane. Okay. So, by writing the IUPAC name of this compound, have to start the numbering from right hand side because iodine is present on that carbon so which is plus number then next carbon middle carbon is carbon number two then last carbon is carbon number three so while writing the IPC name of this compound it is a three carbon chain but second carbon contain one CH3 as a branch CH3 is methyl and iodine as a functional group so aldo on first carbon so write down the name so write one aldo one aldo two carbon contain methyl and three carbon compound with propane the name becomes one aldo two methyl propane is the IPC name of this compound now, by writing the names of next compound, write the numbering from again right hand side. So, this carbon number is carbon number one. Then Next, this carbon is carbon number 2 because we have tried the numbering from right hand side because your chlorine is on first carbon on the right hand side. There is no need to check the numbering from left side because iodine is on fourth carbon on left hand side. So, correct numbering is from Right okay. So, what is the IPS name of this compound? It is four carbon compound. The parent alkene is butane, but there is a double bond. So, butane and first carbon contain Cl. Double bond is present on second carbon, so your compound becomes one iodo and four carbon alkene butane. Double bond is present on second carbon, so it is one chloro group to E. So this is your IPCN on this compound. Next compound again is 4 carbon compound, parent alkene is butane, but it is a triple bond, so alkyne, butane, and you have to start the numbering from again right hand side because bromine is on first carbon of right hand side. And this carbon is carbon number 2. This is carbon number 1. Next carbon is carbon number 3. And last carbon is carbon number 4. So, what is the IPC name of this compound? It is 1 bromo. Then we are writing the next 
component this is the carbon number one and it is six carbon and it's single bond so benzene so it is one dash chrome benzene then writing the IPS name of this compound so start the numbering from any carbon contain BR carbon number one this carbon number one and this carbon number four there is a gap to it so the IPC name becomes they are two pairs, so use the word die and write down their position. Separate the number by commas and number and letter by dash. There are two grooming, so use the word die and pair is the formula group paradise. So alkyne so is not alkyne, it is aromatic compound. So one for di bromo benzene. Now we are going to end our nomenclature for practice. You can refer the exercise questions. Thank you.